The Emmerich spent the last couple weeks working with nearly zero margin for error to even make these playoffs. To avoid ending up right back in that same spot, Rochester could not afford to lose their one and only home game in this best of three against Belleville. Uka Pekalukin and Herzl Aaron Dell got the start in goal on his 33rd birthday. Did not start well. Rochester down two zip in the second. Pretty play from Belleville and Rourke Chartier made it 3 nothing sends to the third. But the Amherst get a rally going. J.J. Paterka to Lucas Rusek. It's 3-1. Under seven minutes to play, Peyton Krebs to Jimmy Schultz. 3-2. Under four minutes to play, Krebs the setup again. This time to Casey Fitzgerald. Tied the game. We are going to overtime. In the OT, Josh Tevis from the point, R2 roots line and deflects it in, and that's your winner. Stunning comeback, gives the Amherst their first playoff game win in eight years. A.J. Feldman was at Blue Cross Arena for every single minute. We go live to him right now. Yeah, that's right, That It was looking grim for the Amherst to start off this game. As you mentioned, Aaron Dell gives up a goal on the first shot of the game, but the Amherst storm back from 3-0 down to pull off the comeback win in overtime. Peyton Krebs, Casey Fitzgerald, both down from Buffalo. They were fantastic. They had multiple points on the evening. You could tell they brought something else to the Amherst roster. Now, as for how Rochester was able to come back from this 3-0 deficit, head coach Seth Appert, it might have been a little cliche, but he said it was love. The love that allowed the Amherst to make that playoff push like you mentioned his players echoed that sentiment of resiliency I think just character of the whole team I mean down three nothing and uh, such a comeback in the third is just a uh, thing unbelievable from from everybody and yeah I think that just showed the character we we showed the whole year and uh, just coming together here and uh, fighting for each other and that's why we won tonight Overall, I think we played well, and in the first period, we just couldn't score in the same thing in the second period, and uh, yeah, we just trust how we play the hockey and trust ourselves, and that paid off. We knew it was coming. We in the second there, uh, we had some some great opportunities to score. I think we just couldn't buy one, and um, for that line to, to to step up there, get that first one out of the way, I think uh, we were just the, the floodgates opened after that. Not all good tonight, though. Linus Weisbach leaving the game in the first period with a nasty injury, could barely skate off the ice. Judging by head coach Seth Abbott's comments, I would not expect to see him the rest of the series. However, the series looks a whole lot different than it did just a few hours ago. The Amherst will have two shots to finish off this best of three series starting Friday night on the road at Belleville. But what a night here at Blue Cross Arena. We'll send it back to you, Thad, after a crazy Amherst win live from Blue Cross Arena. A.J. Feldman, News 8. Thad, back to you. Thank you, AJ. Playoff hockey's back, and it's awesome.